Yo, hello everyone. Are you looking to establish a dynamic platform for sharing your thoughts and insights? In this tutorial, I will guide you on how to create a blog website in Webflow, from designing your blog layouts and creating blog post templates to implementing a user-friendly navigation system. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, now you might ask me, this is not really a good template for blogs. What are you doing? Well, basically, it depends on you guys. You can choose whatever template you have in there. Uh, if you'd like to have even a black page, this is not a problem. You can go for it. But I like this kind of template for me as a um, taste of mine. I really like this kind of templates. Now, in my brain, I'm thinking like this could be images of an article, this could be category of articles, this could be like the main explore like section. Here we might find like all the different kind of menus of like, uh, for example, let's say that I am doing a news website blog. So here I'm going for example to do sports, health, uh, technology, famous people, etc. So you got the idea in general. Now let's start with our website and editing the things. So, first of all, I will start by deleting, for example, the image over here. So, I will just replace it with, uh, I will just like remove it actually. I will just replace it. So, let's replace it with something else. Uh, it can be replaced with anything, like literally anything, even the logo of your website itself. So, here I'm going to change it to welcome to our blog. Here I'm going to change it read more or something like that yeah read more and now we have made kind of like the beginning of our site here newest latest um, something like that articles and here we can add like sport uh, I can go all the way down add health here I can add also uh, a famous code or something like that, technology. And just like, that, just like that, we can keep going all the way down. We have to change it also through here. So I'm going to click on these buttons, change it to sport. Here we go. And as you might see, guys, some stuff in this website are actually connected. So for example, sport is now like that. If I have changed it, for example, to space, just like that, later on when I actually refresh the page and I have the website published, this will be sh like uh, changed to space instead of sport. So this is a really good thing to have in your website as uh, a feature. So now let's keep it as sport. Here we go. And change the other things. Now, this is for the menus, for example, on the components. So here, um, we news, keep it like that, and here we go. Now, let's go here, and let's start by creating pages. So, first page we have is home. Uh, this component page is not really necessary for us, so I'm going to remove it. So, I'm going to start removing pages that are not necessary, important for a blog page, so delete. Uh, let's do this to all the other pages that are not uh, really uh, good for us. So delete. And let's delete the other one as well. Here we go. So now, to create a new page, all you have to do is simply click on here. Create a page. Let's name it, for example, uh, About Us. The About Us page is really important to have in your website. So here what we need to have is first of all a menu so what i'm going to do is go to the home page and i will click on this one copy go back here go back to about us and paste so an element needs to be selected to paste into uh and paste co copies correctly but overall, if you face any kind of problems, you can just click on this one, for example, and duplicate it. You can easily duplicate a page as long as you can. You've read the maximum number of pages for the site, so 
yeah as you can see i have now two pages but overall if you have the premium version you can actually create more than one for now i am stuck with only two pages since i have the free version so as i said you can copy the duplicate the home page into about us and you will have the same element that you have on the home page all you have to do next is change literally everything from the images the text into the news like the menu everything change it to fit the about us page and as i said guys to add anything click here on the elements so add elements and you can start adding elements from section uh, uh, the block list uh, you can add buttons link block text link uh, collection list images videos and even a youtube video if you'd like to you can even add captcha select radio button check boxes text area file upload if you have the premium version and much more than that so it is very easy to use you just drag and drop and the things that you have in mind will be uh, shift and now once you are done with that all you have to do is click on create a new page another page and in that page you have to create a template for your blocks so it is very easy to create a template just duplicate as, as well the home page and then change everything to fit a block page just like that once you need to create a new block click into that block page duplicate it and change the images the text and just like that you have a template to work on so it is as simple as that so thank you guys here as you might see guys i swept to reddit so i can show you an article about if you should blog with webflow or not so simply here they are showing you some of the functionalities of cms and the positive vibe that webflow is actually given for blogging so here we go first of all in workflow separately so the cms functionality is really great and you had a lot of more control over design and functionality than wordpress so workflow actually offers more functionalities than wordpress does and this will help you stand out plus you learn a new skill along the way and other thing here webflow is a nice for blogging especially if you want to build more than just a blog if you want static pages that are customizable as well uh, if you want to build item list webflow is the tool uh, it has a nice SEO features and loads faster than wordpress as well so these two guys are actually uh, fighting against wordpress and they are actually defending that webflow is pretty decent for webflow and here as you can see check this article hope it helps so these people are actually uh, helping this guy so why webflow is so good so these are all the things that you can use as webflow blogger uh, this is how your website could look like as a webflow uh, user so it is a very very good tool for you guys to do so in case you're wondering just go for it i highly recommend it for you and yeah guys that was completely it i hope you like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial